Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys the best tips and tricks in how to play Mandy. Mandy is the newest chromatic brawler in the game and you guys are going to need this guide if you guys want to basically push as far as you guys can with her. My question of the day that I have for you guys is do you guys have Mandy and how much trophies do you guys have her at? Make sure you guys let me know how much trophies you guys have with Mandy down in the comment section below. But alright guys, without further ado, let's just hop straight into the Mandy guide. Finally bro, hurry up, we're going to miss our movie. All right, so first I'm basically be talking about the build for Mandy. Okay, so for now, while I'm recording this video, she actually only has one star power and one gadget. So make sure you basically use those two, of course. You have no other choice. As far as gears go, you want to basically use the damage and shield gear. You basically want to use damage gear because she only does 1800 damage. And with the damage gear, it'll actually buff her attack to basically like over 2000 the other gear you want to be using is shield gear shield gear is actually be good as well because she doesn't have the most hp so by running shield gear you'll basically be able to stay alive a lot longer and yeah it'll basically help you in a lot of other engagements another good gear that you could use if there's a lot of bushes you can actually use the vision gear vision gear might actually be helpful because if you hit your shot with mandy you can actually basically scout them in the bushes and you might hit your super a lot more but alright, that's going to be it for Mandy's build. Let's just hop straight into the tips now. Alright, so basically going off what I just said, like basically using your shield gear because she doesn't have a ton of health, make sure you keep your distance with Mandy. She doesn't have a lot of good burst damage, so you want to basically keep far away from your opponents. Also, since she's going to be a sniper, you actually want to be practicing hitting your shots. She's not an easy brawler to play like Chester where he has multiple shots that go out. You basically only have one shot and if you miss, you're basically screwed. So basically practice makes progress and progress can eventually become perfect. So make sure you just practice playing Mandy and eventually you'll get better at hitting her shots. Well, no fucking shit. The next tip for Mandy that I have for you guys is you guys want to basically try and play her mostly in like knockout and bounty. Since a lot of the knockout maps are pretty open and have walls that are basically going to help Mandy out, it's going to be the most viable for her because it's going to help her with her focus and basically hitting her supers. All right, I'm actually filming this clip after that I'm already done editing because I forgot to include this in the video. I forgot to mention that Mandy's focus is mainly gonna be useful in knockout. The main reason for this is because since a lot of the knockout maps are wide open and they have a lot of walls, you won't really be punished that much if you're standing in the right spot and getting her focus value. So try and just find the sweet spot wherever you gotta stand to make sure that you're hitting your opponents and they cannot really hit you. Mandy's focus range is pretty long, so you should be able to outrange like pretty much all of the brawlers. Of course, don't just stand under the entire game, move if you have to. Don't rely on your focus 100% of the time, use it to your advantage because it is a high perk of having Mandy. So yeah, just basically play it smart, don't use it all the time, and best of luck. Mandy is a pretty high risk, high reward brawler regarding her super. So when you play knockout and you can basically like chain supers, it's going to be pretty easy for you to carry. Alright, so the next tip that I have for you guys is try and get as much value as you can from your super. Like I said earlier, her super is high risk, high reward, so if you can hit more than one person with your super, you can basically chain so yeah if you see your opponents running in the same direction basically try and use your super and connect onto them since it takes quite a bit of time to charge up your super you don't want to basically be wasting it you want to make sure that you're using your supers wisely just because you get your super it doesn't mean that you want to use it right away another tip for mandy super is you want to use it whenever you're behind a wall since she can't really move when you're using her super she's actually stuck where she is so you're basically going to be vulnerable so hide behind a wall or under some sort of protection so that when you use your super you're not gonna die or you know you're not gonna feed the enemy some easy shots onto you all right and the last tip that i have for you guys is use mandy super when you know your teammates are low and they're trying to heal behind a wall or something like that even if they're camping in a bush and you might know where they could be you could try go for a hail mary super and try and finish them off it's better that you try and roll the dice if you know that they're low and you can basically finish them off because their super does do quite a bit of damage but that is why knockout is so good for mandy you know you're gonna see a lot of people hiding behind walls and People are going to be low and they don't want to die. So if you see them hiding, trying to heal, go ahead and use that super. Just hail Mary it, roll the dice, and get that kill. Why are you running? Why are you running? Well, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the Mandy guide. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to go ahead and go down in the description below. Follow me on my social medias. Join my Discord and subscribe to the second channel. Make sure you guys also go follow me on Twitch. But yeah, guys, I think that's all I got for now. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I love all of you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.